See, it's another <laughs> fault on Larry. It always is. It is. I mean, I'm telling you, this whole friggin' car is wobbling like a maniac. It definitely looks wobbly to me. Is it wobbly? Oh yeah, it bounces more than the back one. It's bouncing, right? Yeah, it looks terrible. Yeah, okay, that's why I missed that. Here we are in the Keys, finally. What a strange trip it's been. Now, we planned this trip way in advance. Advance for us, anyway. But as full-timers, you know that sometimes plans just go right out the window. Now, many of you have let us know that you appreciate our honesty when we talk about this lifestyle, so this video is for you. Now, travel days can be very exciting because they can be, and they can also be very stressful because sometimes things don't go planned and they go wrong, mm -hmm. and this time it did. Oh, yes. So thanks guys for coming to visit us again. But if you just found us, I'm Alice. And I'm Larry. And we are Downsizing Makes Sense Like the Penny. On our channel, we not only show you the full-time RV experience, including what can go wrong, we also do RV DIY, campground tours, and product reviews. Now this video was supposed to be about RV and truck maintenance, its importance, especially before a long trip, but things did not go as planned. Yeah, so this video is actually about the reality of living full-time in your RV. So whether you plan on going full-time in your RV or even go on an extended trip, there are things that you definitely need to consider. Our original plan was to spend four weeks in Astor, which is our old hunker down spot in preparation for our big trip to the Keys. Now this included a midway point uh, campground, which was free for a week, and it, it's run by fish and wildlife. Now that plan got tossed because of me. Now I take a special medicine for my rheumatoid arthritis mm -hmm. called Humira. It's shipped directly for the company. It's refrigerated. They have a special shipment schedule. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I wasn't gonna be able to get my shipment till yep. the day before we left for our Keys mm -hmm. trip, which is going to add extra time and now extra cost. Yes. Now the original plan was while we were in Astor for four weeks mm -hmm. is to replace our leaf springs. Now if you didn't see the video, we broke a leaf spring a while back. We did a video about it and Lippert gave us four leaf springs mm -hmm. so we could replace them all. Now I'm a DIYer, so I wanted to do it myself while we were in Astor, but... But I imagined him getting squashed under the RV Okay, and then I was like, okay, if he lives through that, because of his RA, he's just gonna be like a broken man. He's gonna be in so much pain. So I just decided, hey, we had experience with these professionals, Texas Trailers. Why don't we just go ahead and book with them? We'll do it on a travel day, because as full-timers, you know, you gotta do it on a travel day. And that would help us also with the fact that he would have had to buy equipment. And then where are we gonna store the equipment? So that's what we decided to do. Yeah, the last thing we want is a bunch of more weight in our RV. <laughs> yeah. Now we were preparing to leave Astor and part of our preparation to leave, especially on extended stay like this, we take care of all those maintenance things like you know checking the tires on the RV and the truck. And a lot of times we take stuff if we can and put it back into storage. Like for instance, we had our canoe. Mm -hmm. Now, right now we don't have a way to carry the canoe and pull the fifth wheel at the same time if we don't have a follow behind car. So I was on the way to storage to take the canoe and drop it off. Okay, but once again, something changed. Larry noticed a wobbly in the tire. So I was working on the RV, like packing things up again for the big trip. And he called me and said, Alice, there's something wrong with the tire. We're gonna have to take the truck in. So can you come meet me in the follow behind car? Now here it is the day before we take off on a big trip. The truck is at the dealer getting the oil changed, trying to figure out that wobble problem, getting all the tires balanced and rotated on my dually. Now tell me why we didn't do it the four weeks we were sitting around at Astor. Okay, so that's my bad. I noticed a little vibration on the highway and I should have done it weeks earlier, but you know, what are you gonna do? And then... And so then I'm at the <laughs> dealer, it's five o'clock, they're getting ready to close. Mm -hmm. And the guy comes to me and says, everything's good. We got your tires balanced and rotated. Oh, there's one problem. One of your tires has a defect. It's got a bulge in it. So you might still have some vibration. So he shows me this video of the bulge 
in the tire and I'm like, is this safe? He goes, yeah, no problem. But you know, it might vibrate a little bit. And now that tire is on the front wheel. So Larry makes an appointment for 10 a.m. at Texas Trailers in Gainesville. And we're in Astor, so he says, we have to get up at 5 a.m. to pack up and go there. I am not happy. I am not a morning person. I all. am a morning person. I love the mornings. Yeah. So, but I'm like, okay, it should only take us a few hours to be at Texas Trailers because when we had the one uh, leaf spring done, it only took a half hour. So we could still actually make it to the Keys for our first day of our reservation, but... Okay, so we're on the way <laughs> and we get the truck on the highway on I-75 where yeah. we're gonna get up to speed and the truck was vibrating so bad, I thought my fillings were gonna vibrate out. <laughs> it was rocking, it was terrible. I could only go about 50 miles yeah. per hour. At one yeah. point, I had Al's pull up beside me mm -hmm. to take a look at the, the wobble on the tire to tell me if she could notice it. And man, I mean, was it vibrating or I what? I was like, oh no, that looks bad. That's something wrong. So now we have another problem. <laughs> yeah, because now we got to our appointment late, so that moves our trip back even more. Larry contacted the owner of Texas Trailers and got permission to film all of the leaf spring change and the axle service for what was supposed to be our upcoming video. This video. This video. <laughs> but... But, so we get to Texas Trailers, and instead of starting to film, I gotta figure out, to get a new tire on the front of the truck, because that wobble was gonna mm -hmm. kill us. So, you know, I have a dually, and those tires are not easy to find, so I had to find a place that had the tire, and that was close by. Yeah. So now, we've got to get this extra tire, and I have to get two tires, because I don't wanna replace just one. That's extra cost, and now we've really delayed mm -hmm. our trip, and, you know, maybe not be able to do this video with Texas Trailers. So we leave Boulevard Tire where we're having the two truck tires replaced, mm -hmm. head back to Texas Trailers, because now I'm trying to film as much as possible mm -hmm. of the spring replacement and the um, axle service. Yeah, which was, again, supposed to be this video, but we had some serious problems videoing. There was these major storms. In fact, uh, we were getting tornado warnings Plus, this is like this massive operation, and there were people coming and going, lots of noise, and this one guy, every time he pulled a trailer in and out, he was going backwards, so it's like that beep, 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 and y'all do not want to hear that throughout a video, right? Yeah, so we're trying to do our intro and outro. We were there, and it was, it was impossible. There's was no crazy. way we were going to do it. Yeah. My service tech pulls me over who's working on the spring, mm -hmm. and he's like, we got a problem. So he shows me the two springs, a new spring and the old spring, and there's like a more than an inch difference in the length of the springs. And he says, there's no way we can get these on. It's really, really tough. Mm -hmm. And, um, but he, you know, he managed to get another guy over to help him, you know, manhandle this spring into place and they got it, but it added like an extra half hour per side to the spring installation. Which again is pushing our trip to the Keys even further. Later. Later. So we're doing some filming at Texas Trailers mm -hmm. on the axle service and the spring replacement. We get a call from Boulevard Tire to head back and pick up the truck. Now hopefully they fix that wobble problem and we won't have that on our way down to the Keys. Yes. So um, we take the follow behind car, get the truck, and now we can finally get back on track, bring the rogue to uh, the boys place, get his medicine, which was the whole week delay. We're finally getting that medicine that has to be refrigerated. And I get to say goodbye to the boys. Now we're going to be in the Keys for weeks and weeks. So I, I said goodbye to the boys. So it was kind of sad. Yeah. So then we head back to Texas trailers. I'm trying to still get as much video as possible mm -hmm. on that, on the axles and the spring replacement. Mm -hmm. But the weather, the weather was terrible. So it was, terrible. Like, it was so dark and it was raining. It was like nothing was going our way as far as getting that video done. Yeah. And the delay meant that our leaf springs weren't done until like 6 p.m. Now remember, we brought it at 11 a.m. because of this whole problem with them being too short and everything and then having to do extra work for it. So I started to wonder, hey, are they going to lock us behind the gates? Are we even going to the Keys tonight? But Larry like said, 
Yeah, yeah. so it's so the place actually closed at 5:30 and it's six o'clock. Now there's two things going on. One was the springs were 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 not long enough and that created some time. Another part of it is I'm filming the guy hmm. while we are while he's doing this procedure yeah. and I'm you know I'm really curious. I'm asking him like a million questions. So I gotta say like my part of it is also I slowed the guy down. So that's on me too. See, it's another <laughs> fault on Larry. It always is. It is. Okay, so we're finally on our way to the Keys. We leave Texas Trailer with the RV, but we're gonna do that thing that I can't stand, which is like a seven hour drive, but you know, with P stops for me and for Scrappy, getting food and getting gas is gonna be even longer. And this is that whole journey versus destination thing that I was trying to avoid with our midway stop that we already mentioned and that didn't happen. Well, I love that all night or let's go all night. <laughs> so I have a rule while we're traveling. I like to stop every hundred miles ago or so yeah. to stretch the legs. And it's great because on the turnpike, they have rest stops every 40 mm -hmm. miles, a nice little plaza. So we get to the first stop after my hundred miles and all the RV and truck spots are full. I'm like, no big deal, 40 more miles, get to the next one and again, all the RV and truck spots, truck spots are full. Yeah. So we're going to the third one. So we get to the third one, again, all those spots are full, but now I'm run out of diesel. Yeah. I pull up to the pump, and while we're getting diesel, we just take turns getting food, and we kind of you know overstayed our welcome at the pump, but we just didn't have any other choice. Yeah, so I run inside, and I'm thinking I'm gonna get some Annie Ann's pretzels, because that's what it says on the Turnpike website. I go in there and like everything's closed except for Dunkin' Donuts. And I got some like, eh, okay, croissant sandwich. But I had to eat something because I get a little hangry. She gets, oh, well, I guess I can't say, she gets a little hangry. <laughs> So we get back out on the turnpike after we get diesel and we're headed down the turnpike. There was a lot of construction, but then we get to this section where the road is like narrowing. And then we realize that the turnpike is closed and everybody has to get off at an exit. There was no warning. Yeah. We had to get off at Okeechobee Boulevard. So I'm like, no problem. We head out to 95. We start heading down to 95, yeah. but we wanted to get back to the turnpike. Yeah. So we get back on the turnpike at Glades Road and we start seeing signs for uh, turnpike closures again, but they're not being specific yeah. where it's closed. Yeah. So we stop at another uh, rest stop on the turnpike in to Pompano. To get more gas. To get more gas. And I see an FHP officer there and I pull her aside and I said, hey, you know what, how can we get to the keys? Mm -hmm. Where can we avoid these turnpike closures? So she gets on her computer <sighs> and had to look it up. It took her like 10 minutes to yeah. figure out and plotted us a course for us yeah. where we can hook back up onto the turnpike yeah. to continue onto the keys. Yeah, so finally, it was about 1.30 in the morning and Larry decides, okay, he's finally tired. And we find another turnpike uh, stop and this time there was room for us so we park in between these two trucks but Larry's like uh-uh they're like run 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 you know like that rest stop that yeah, we had I mean, in, yeah, Pennsylvania. in Pennsylvania I can't stand that loud yeah. truck action so I got out of the truck I just walked around the corner yeah. and there was a whole row of extra spots yeah. that we could be almost all by ourselves. so I'd move the RV down there so you know, this is, I think, 1.30 in the morning. Yeah, we, we crawl over our bed because our slides aren't open and we just crash. We're so tired. So I originally booked seven nights in one spot in the Keys in winter, which is like a miracle. But we've missed day one, but we get to day two at 6.30 in the morning and we were able to get into the campground because we told them we weren't going to make our first day and they gave us the gate code. So we go in and we wind up parking at the marina. Right, so we're at the marina at 6.30 in the morning and the yeah. reason we stopped there, we didn't want to roll into the campground yeah. at 6.30 and disturb yeah. everybody. We decided to wait until 8 o'clock before we pulled into the campground. It's just the courteous thing to do. Yeah, we saw this amazing sunrise, which I'm not a morning person, so I've I've actually hardly ever seen a sunrise, so that was really nice. Um, but then we go to the actual spot at eight o'clock. So we roll into our spot after doing this like amazing time lapse thing. It was really cool. Yeah. And we are we are exhausted at this point. Normally, I can pull into a spot no problem. Just yeah. you know, boom, man. I must have pulled back and forth like six <laughs> times, back and forth, back and forth. I was just so tired I couldn't get my left and right straight. It was terrible. And it was it was a small spot. 
and you say, why didn't you get a bigger spot? Well, when you're full time and you're in the Keys and it's winter, you take what you can get. But, you know, this was a crazy trip. And it sounds like a complete and total disaster. But when you come down to it, look at where we are. So now we can finally relax. Um, our second day of our reservation was really sleeping. So this is our third day of our reservation, but we're here and it's the keys and it's winter time. So it's all worth it. And this is exactly why we're full-time RVers. Right, where do you want to be in January? <laughs> we're in the keys, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that's it. Our trip to the Keys was uh, longer than we originally planned. It cost more than it, we originally planned. It was more stressful than we originally planned, but that's part of RV living and full-time and travel days. But the main thing is that make sure that you're flexible and you keep a little extra cash on the side for these unexpected expenses right now this video ended up being completely different we were going yeah. to do so i hope you enjoyed us sharing this story of like kind of the disasters and some things that could go wrong on yeah. your trip but we love sharing these type of stories whether they're good or bad mm -hmm. and we really like you to share your story in the comments so have, have you had a trip that things didn't go right what did you do to solve it please share that in the comments yeah and let us know are you planning to go full-time or are you a full-timer and you know exactly what we're talking about with the plans going all wrong you can comment here or you can comment on instagram twitter or facebook now if you like this video and this type of content you know we do lots of like we said before campground yeah. tours rv tours product reviews stuff like that please yeah. consider subscribing to our channel to a link right down here. Now I'll also leave something up over here for you to check out next, maybe some more crazy stories <laughs> like this one. And remember, <laughs> believe it or not, downsizing still makes sense.